What does a dachshund cost? How much is it to get one? And what about per year? Or how much do some of the most common health problems cost to fix? Stick around as we'll be answering all of those questions in this Costs of a Dachshund video. Welcome back to the Fenrir Dachshund Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Dachshund and then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Dachshund. So if you're a lifelong Dachshund lover, you're thinking about getting one or you've just started your journey with your new Dachshund, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you never miss a future Dachshund video. So let's just dive straight in and start with the cost of getting a dachshund from either a rescue or a breeder. Adopting a dachshund is the cheaper option in the short term, but it might not be so cheap in the long term if a particular dog's health history is unknown. But adoption can be incredibly rewarding. A doxy pup will cost you anywhere from $50 to $300 in adoption fees. The cost of a doxy puppy can be anywhere from $400 to $1,100 US dollars. But your reputable breeders will charge around $1,500 and they are well worth the Spent with health testing, knowledge of the personalities and temperaments of dogs in their lines, and more. If your dream doxy pup is too far away for you to drive to pick it up, you have two options ground transport and flying them to you. Ground transport can cost anywhere from $300 to $700. It can be a little bit of a waiting game as most ground transporters run on routes and are only in certain places at certain times. So you might need to wait for the next time they go that way for a pickup. Domestic flights will cost an average of $350 and this can of course go up depending on the size of the dog, the crate used and the distance. If your dog is further away and you're looking at importing, to transport the dog internationally can be anywhere from $400 to $1,000, not including your round trip plane ticket. If you can't fly for whatever reason, you can hire a company that specializes in this, but they will cost a minimum of $1,200, but they will pick up the dog, ride with it on the plane, and then get it through customs for you to pick it up. Also keep in mind that a dog cannot fly internationally without a health certificate. This includes having a rabies vaccination done. Rabies vaccinations are not given until 12 weeks old, and the dog will need to have a two week holding period after the shot, and so they are allowed to fly. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Afferton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world, and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels, and maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. You will also need toys, treats, bowls, a crate, collar, leash, vaccinations, parasite prevention and food at a bare minimum. So here's our bare bones list. Toys, $50. Decent quality treats, $15. Bowls, $14. Crate, $50. Collar, $25. Leash, $15. Good quality food, $45. Vaccinations, $109, not including boosters. Parasite prevention, $60 for a six month supply. For our price, we'll say $1,500 for the puppy because we want health testing, no transportation needed, and our bare bones list. You'll be looking at $2,883 from day one. Here are the most common health problems for the doxy and what they may cost you to treat. The first is IVDD, or intervertebral disc disease, which is a spinal disc disorder where the vertebra becomes brittle. An injury can also cause it. The imaging that will be needed before any corrective surgery can occur can be between $1,000 to $3,000, and then the surgery itself, $1,500 to $4,000. Next, we have Cushing's disease. This is a genetic disease where the adrenal gland creates too much of a particular hormone called cortisone. There's no fix for Cushing's, but it will need to be medicated and can cost $3,000 $800 a year for the medicine. The Doxy is a small breed, so it's relatively cheap to keep on a per year average. Most Doxy owners spend around $300 to $700 a year on their dog. But if you get a Doxy of the long or wire hair variety, you might want to consider a groomer's, which can be up to $50 per visit. If you feed a raw diet or use a doggy daycare, a dog walker or anything like that, it can quickly raise the cost too. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Dachshund videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Dachshund Show.